Hizi ni dini za Afrika. African traditional religion mm. za kuomba kwenye makevu. Mm. Like kwenye miti mikubwa, milima na sehemu kama hizi. Hapa coast sehemu kama hizi wale wamejikenda wanazika kaya kama umesikia kaya. Mm. So along the coast of Kenya there are several kayas. This one bears a name kaya mwanangoto. Kuna kaya pongo. Mwanangoto yes. And mwanangoto by the way is <laughs> Now that you come up with a Sadaka, who moved out with the Z in an inning, who moved out. Now that you come up with a Sadaka. Yes, hizi ni coins ambazo wanaweka pale. Mm. Huwa hawaweki pesa za noti. Yeah. Wanaweka pesa za coins zile kwa hiyo coconut shell. Yeah. And wanaamini kwamba waki drop coins yote pale. Any kind of a coin hata ile ya zamani ya wakoloni ya mashimo katikati. Mm. Then wanapata blessings from the gods. Mm. Unaona yes, wanapata blessings from the gods. And in case if these coconut shells feed up with coins. Mm wana hawachukui pesa mm-hmm. wanachimba mashimo and then they bury the money on oh, the ground yes hawachukui so yes ziko yes, Zico. yes. Zico. yes. Zico. but nobody is allowed to dig the money out because mm. ukitoa hiyo pesa ni kwamba miungu itakasirika tu mm. miungu ikasirika italeta shida <laughs> itakuandama yes sababu umewachokoza miungu wale ndio ndugu yangu sasa mali yako ni mali kasikana religion <laughs> buys this road yeah. water from the shops around and sprinkle it on the ground kuna nukia vizuri yes kuna nukia vizuri and these flags mm. are you seeing it bears three different colors eh? mm. each color here symbolizes a different god mm. yes because they believe on many gods not like in christianity where people believe in one god wana mini miungu mingi so these are symbolic colors of god because according to them one cannot see god with his eyes Mm. Sasa hii red according to them is god that comes from the mountains his work is to bring peace to the land sasa watu wakipigana labda wakiwana watakuja kuomba huyu black is god that comes from the land his work is to bring rain when there's drought whilst huyu mweupe ni mungu kutoka kwa bahari yeye ni wa kuondoa magonjwa na accident yes sasa in case kama kutakuwa na epidemic disease for example mm. wakati ulitakuwa na covid 19 walikuja kuomba Mungu symbolized by the white color and again they mm. even, yes walichinja mbuzi mweupe hapa kupea kwa faru mm. wakawacha nyama hapa wanaamini no once they kill the animal here they mm. take the carcass outside when they oh. share na kula <laughs> wala kula lazima achingie hapa yes ibaki hapa hata gugu wanaachingia kwa beba yes wana beba and kuna mzee yeye ambaye huwa anaongoza maombi hapa kawaida because yeye anaact kama prophet between the gods and the human beings yes hapana sasa ule mzee ambaye anaact kama prophet in case atakufa but mbaya mwingine huwa anakuwa appointed Okay. ana take over. So because of that unapata ni kitu kinaridhiwa kutoka kizazi hadi kizazi kinaendelea kwa yes namna hiyo. Mm. Uh, is just a pattern but there's no way through it ends here. Let's it ends just there. Lakini pia go maslezo walikuwa hapo kila mahali. Yes every. Na hizi nini zinakaa mchele hapa chini? Hii ni guano. Guano is the dropping of bats. Yes hapa pia kuna bats ndio hizi tunaona. Sasa hizi ndio zinaweka mchele. Yes. And by the way hii hebu hebu tuone hizi bats. Hii kinyesi ya bat ya eh? inatumiwa kama mbolea. A very very good fertilizer. Na inauzwa gali sana. Ni nzuri hata kuliko ile ya samadi ya ng'ombe. Yes, this one. Yes. No. Ni jamii zetu zilikuwa zinaishi hapo. Alafu msaidi jamii Alafu pia huyu ngota bwana. Mwana wote ni Mungu. Ni Mungu. Kata hii miungu mitatu. Mkubwa wao kabisa wanaitwa mwana ngoto. Jamii gani? Wadigo. Wadigo, wadigo. Mpaka wale. But hapana, sahi kuna jamii. Yaani kuna 
watu tofauti ambao wamekuja kuishi Shimoni lakini wenyeji wanakuwa yes wa Dibu and a very small subdivision of the Dibu community wanaitwa the wakifundi sasa wakifundi yes kuna wak, alafu wao chichifundi ni kina nani chichifundi ni wakifundi wenyewe wakifundi they are called so because it is said that watu walikuwa wana ufundi wa kutengeneza vyombo vya usafiri wa baharini yes wakifundi ni jamii ndogo ambayo kwamba it came up because of the people who are known as the shirazi shirazi walitoka kwa shanga wakikimbia vita kule vya jihad wakakuja along the coast of east africa walipokuja along the coast of east africa especially the south coast of kenya here waka intermingle na wadigo na waduruma wakazaa kizazi ambacho kwamba sasa si kidigo si kiduruma si kiswahili wakazaliwa hawa the wakifundi hao ndio ambao kwamba yes wao ndio wa kwanza kuishi shimoni hao kwa hivyo kijifundi hasa ni jamii ndogo ya wadigo yes yes sasa wakifika pale warabuni walikuwa wanakuwa kasplete taji si ni kuvunjwa tu na mawe si ni wanafanya mawe si ni mawe si ni kuota mwanje nyingi this is a